temos Dupri para falar connosco. Uh, não sei se o Dupri já nos está a ouvir. Dupri, are you there? No. Ok. Maybe we shall wait a little bit. Now you can hear me. Okay, man. <laughs> Hello. Uh, well, congratulations, uh, above all. And um, my only question for you, because it was a big game because of the technical pause. My big question to you, why did you play so off meta around your city side on Inferno by playing so much banana control, so much aggro in mid, second mid, you pushed boiler room, you did everything so crazy. Who called it and why? Uh, I think everyone did. I mean, like, we just wanted to go home. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, it was, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, like, it was, it was about, it was mainly just about like the, the way that we approached the game. We had a really good idea, like how we wanted to play the city side. And sometimes, if you play too passively on, on uh, especially after going going down one to four, one four, uh, which was the score in the beginning, we knew that we had to start doing some pushes and start getting into the game instead of just relying on on playing pass passively and just waiting. So I think it was a combination of, of the score, but also the fact that we had had such a long break that we had to like kind of get into the game as fast as possible to be able to feel confident. And obviously it worked, so that was really good. Uh, well, congratulations again, uh, Dupri. The, the only question I, I want to, to make is, uh, were you expecting Inferno and were you expecting uh, them to play aggressive uh, or uh, something else? I mean, no, we did not expect them to pick Inferno. We were more prepared on playing those two against them, so it was kind of a surprise. But at the same time, uh, Inferno is a comfortable map for us, so we felt, felt it was okay. Um, so we didn't like panic just because they picked Inferno at all. And we just know the Bulgarian guys, like they, they like to play aggressive, they like to play this type of no fear counter strike uh, where they get in your head and just play out of their minds um, and just don't seem to care too much. And um, we just tried to be even more aggressive and try to do the same thing to them, and I think it worked out. How is the environment right now? Without the glaive, you're uh, answering so high, and um, mm -hmm. everybody has been praising uh, your work. Uh, Magisk, uh, Bubski is completely different uh, at the moment. Uh, he's switching roles, he's not, no longer a one dimensional player. Um, what can you say about this? How is the environment right there on the team? Do you think that there is a regrowth under the team and it's going to, you know, be noticed until the, the end of this year? Um, I think what has changed the most is obviously we've gotten some success in terms of qualifying for Royal Arena and throughout Blast, but also making it to the Major. Like, I think we believe a little bit more in the process and the team uh, than we did maybe one and a half months ago. Uh, and. That is obviously not Glaze's fault or anyone else's fault, but I think the fact that we knew how much was on stake in the last two tournaments we've been participating in, we wanted to show ourselves in the best possible way, so that was really good. Um, and I think Counter-Strike is just about, you know, confidence. Like, if you believe in your teammates and believe in the caller and everything, like, you just play better, and I think that is what it is. We're, we're, we're on a kind of a good streak right now, so it's just really good, but... Uh, We're still uh, we're still left to be tested against like uh, some of the like really good teams at this tournament. Uh, but now going into the semifinals, then uh, mm -hmm. obviously we have some 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 strong teams coming up. So yeah, I'm just looking forward to the semifinals and hopefully well, also the final. Dupri, thanks thanks a lot uh, for your patience and congratulations. We will see your semifinal. And th let me just tell you that even if other team wins, the CS:GO fans need a proper Astralis. And this guy is, cr is completely crazy for you guys. And so are all, uh, all, all the people that uh, like Counter-Strike. So just stay strong and hopefully we will be back to see some great performances again. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks.